In this video, I am going to show you how to whip your IMEI on MTK chipset based devices, MTK or MediaTek. So for this purpose, this uh, for this video, I am going to use this device which have lost its IMEI. Okay, so first of all, let's see its IMEI. This is a MTK based device. I will show you that later which chipset is are, it has got. So just invalid IMEI, you can see here. it has lost its IMEI just just check it from here too you can see it's showing the IMA is invalid so to know the chipset of this device I will put into recovery mode and view the info from there so for that I will just power this device off Following this, in, following the instructions on this video, you can repair uh, IMEA on all of the IMEA on all of the MTK based chipset based devices. Uh, the files for uh, repairing the IMEA for other chipsets are also in the in the description of this video. Link for that those file. So let's go into recovery. more okay now we'll just go to version and see the information okay if you can see it is 6589 MT6589 the chipset name is MT6589 name or model and the IMEA are unknown so we'll fix this okay now let's move to the PC download the necessary files for your device and the flashing tool IMEA writing tool uh, those tools link are in the description of this video obviously so let's just see that so to repair the IMEA on our MTK based device, we'll need the IMEA writer tool, which is this one, the database file for our chipset, MTK chipset. You can find this, these database files and many other, actually all of them uh, for MTK, MTK based chipsets, all the database file in the description of this video, there is a link, download from there and the original IMEA of your device so let's just see how we can do this first of all run the IMEA writer tool from here and then on platform select smartphone then USB now tick on IMEA1 and IMEA2 now get the original IMEA of your device copy and paste them on here okay 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 now we are done before we start flashing the uh, IMEA we will need to select the database file which is here I have kept it here select DB database file from here select this one first and then this one now before we hit the start button uh, turn off your device and then uh, do not remove the battery and then hit the start button after that without uh, clicking any on any button of your device connect the device with your USB cable and then just wait it will automatically detect your, detect your device and flash the IMEI or write the IMEI just wait and one thing on here if you have single IMEI you can just select one of them and then do that okay now you can see we have written our IMEI successfully it's showing okay done now it's easy now after that your device will reboot and you can actually see that your IMEI is back you have prepared your IMEI successfully now let's see on our device that our, if our IMEI is successfully repaired
so now let's check if our IME is really repaired or not power on your device will not actually put the sim in here to test but we will see if the IMEA is really written using the IMEA showing code which is sorry okay. now we can see the IMEA is written or repaired from here also and then from the settings also mm, it's not showing unknown anymore okay thanks for watching if this video really helped you hit the like button and subscribe my channel for more again thanks for watching good day good day have a nice day blah blah blah